hello everyone so welcome to topper stock so today we have mr stalwart shine he is from chennai and he has secured all india rank 3 in engineering service examination in gate 20 uh, he he has also appeared in gate 2019 and he has uh, uh, secured all india rank 424 He has uh, did his B Tech from Madras Institute of Technology in the year 2013 to 2017, and between 2017 to 2019, he was working as a project engineer in Wipro, Bangalore, and currently he is working as JE in Southern Railway, Chennai. So uh, this is the small profile of uh, Mr. Stalwart. So before we start the formal discussion, so I will congratulate Mr. Stalwart for his great achievement and huge achievement in Engineering Service 2021. So congratulations, Stalwart. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, so when you saw the result, how did you come to know about your result? Sir, actually, uh, I have one more uh, uh, J with me who has qualified in Engineering Services 2020. So he was constantly checking the results on that day, and uh, he was the one to reveal my results. And I so, was a bit uh, shocked and explained. Okay, so when you heard that you have got all India, okay, you were thinking, uh, what was your reaction? Uh, were you able to uh, digest that you have got AIR three, or you were expecting this rank, something uh, under ten? Sir, actually, I was expecting that I would get selected, but uh, didn't expect to come under. Uh, Thank you. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's a you. So when you heard the news, how was your reaction? Means, what was the situation was you were in? I was a bit overwhelmed and uh, emotional. Okay. Hey, and uh, how how did your parents and your uh, family reacted to this news? They all felt very excited. Even they were a bit surprised at my rank. Yeah, it was. It would have been a great moment with you and with your family members, isn't it? Okay, yes, uh, so uh, I would like to ask you, Stalwart. Uh, actually, I would uh, rather inform the everyone who is viewing this uh, interview. He uh, appeared in ESE 2020, but he was unable to qualify prelims. He was basically left out by three marks or so. In 2021, he got rank three. So I would like ask. I would like you to ask. Uh, That what was the strategy? What was the plan of action? Because in two thousand twenty you were unable to qualify, and in two thousand twenty one you got all India rank three. So what was your preparation strategy? What did you do, sir? Actually, after uh, writing PSC two thousand twenty, and when I was not able to qualify, I just uh, realized that I was lacking in GS paper. In GS paper, okay. I did not uh, score that much good marks. Around sixty uh, or seventy on the F score. In year 2020, so I focused on in GS paper also from that time. So I was going through MEDC reference material for GS and the practicing booklet. So I constantly revised all the topics and whatever topics I studied, I just practiced the question then and there so that I was aware of my level of preparation. So that really helped me a lot, sir. In the engineering services 2021, I have got around 102 marks in GS paper. So that means uh, made easy books were basically your best source by which you prepared your GS, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely, I would recommend. And it. you have also given test series of made easy. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, that helped in GS. Okay, because you know GS is a such it's a such a vast subject, and you know uh, scoring around hundred it uh, it is very uh, good. Uh, in uh, if anybody scores hundred. In GS, it it is assumed that it is very good marks, isn't it? So as yes. you are saying that you are expecting hundred two marks, so that means it is a really incredible mark. Okay, in GS paper. Okay, uh, now since you are working with your Southern Railway in Chennai, so how you managed your work and the study time? How you balanced it? Sir, actually, uh, whenever I get any free time, I just invest it in my studies only because. Uh, I don't want to get distracted and involved in other activities. So apart from my working hours, I just set myself a timetable. So basically, from all the mock tests and other topics that I study, I got to know the subjects where I was lacking. So I just focused on them more and uh, revised them and practiced them a lot. So finally, I was in a position to score some good marks. 
so the test series also was designed in such way that also helped me a lot in stages they were having subject wise tests and uh, multi subject tests and finally the overall full length test so they were also designed that way so i was able to cover almost all the topics eventually so on an average how many hours you used to focus on the uh, preparation so daily minimum 3 hours i used to study 3 hours daily for one Uh, means one and one and half, almost two hours. Because two thousand nineteen he started preparation, two thousand nineteen and two thousand twenty, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So okay, fine. So uh, did you make any short notes? Yes, sir. I have made a separate note for each and every subject also, and finally one consolidated note for all the formulas and important notes. So during the time of exams, I was revising my short notes as well as my DC pair and book. so they both were really helpful for the last minute uh, revision so uh, actually you got to in 2019 you got 424 rank isn't it so yes. and uh, you were you what you said that uh, you wanted to become an engineering service aspirant isn't it that means you want to crack ias and become an ias officer isn't it so yes. at what point of time you made your mind that from gate because you were uh, when i talked with you you said that you were focusing only on the gate and what made your mind to crack this engineering means to incline towards the engineering service examination sir actually uh, i was uh, applying for rrb exam at that same time after uh, gate 2019 so i just thought like uh, if we are able to uh, apply for rrb exam we can try for engineering services exam also because it's just an higher version of our rrb exam so i just started my preparation that time parallelly for rrb exam and engineering services what was your revision strategy sir so actually uh, like i said previously that short notes from the short notes i will just uh, revise all the important uh, formulas and topics everything so for some specific topics uh, from the mock test i will come to know where i am lagging so those topics i used to revise regularly so that I, it will be helpful at the time of exam and uh, what was the strategy one month before the exam so one month before the exam i just uh, uh, focused on all the mistakes which i had done previously so whatever formulas i then done the mistakes or some uh, a uh, lengthy problem some corner cases which and all i felt difficult at the time of uh, preparing i just revised them i just focused on them specifically and finally gave a whole length a whole uh, revision of all the subjects i didn't leave any subject uh, behind so that any, i will increase my so any particular subject you focus more or equally you have given importance to all the subjects no sir it's uh, basically it's like self analysis only in subject uh, some subjects i felt like i am already strong enough and uh, capable of solving more problems much better so i was just uh, trying to give equal weightage for all the subjects so you have you done any previous years papers if yes then how many years you have attempted yes sir around uh, some five to six papers i have just like previous years papers so uh, from that i was able to gain confidence Okay. And uh, when you uh, gave gave the online test series for of Made Easy, so uh, in that you have evaluated the performance, and if anything is not going in your way, you have learned from there, isn't it? That is how you have done it. Yes, so sir. according to you, uh, that means uh, the test series and the practice question is the key to success, according to you. What I I can I can feel, isn't it? Yes, sir, definitely. Okay, and any standard book you followed for the uh, examination? Uh, sir, I refer standard books in case of any specific doubts or queries only. Apart from that, I was following ADC booklets. Holistically, you were following the ADC booklets, okay? And yes. uh, you have done any other apart from the test series and uh, any other source that you have practice questions or only test series? No, sir. Okay, this is my primary uh, source of practice. and uh, can you uh, because you know in ec there are few tough subjects uh, subjects like analog emt communication so how you focused on these subjects so for these subjects uh, there might be few topics which need constant revision so better to take uh, some special notes for that some screenshots i used to have some separate folders on these subjects itself and some uh, reference videos everything so that we will be having some good idea about the concept just to 
we have to have the fundamentals clear for uh, getting a good score in these subjects. Okay, so how did you clear fundamentals from the standard books or from the work, uh, the books given by the MEDC? Sir, initially I referred MEDC books only. So wherever I stumbled upon any uh, some difficult topics, I used to refer standard books for those topics. Okay, okay, okay. And how was your interview experience? It was uh, really good, sir. I have so, scored around 118 marks in interview. Oh, that's good. So can you recall any qu particular question so that you can share with the viewers in the interview? Sir, actually, my, uh, sir, my interview started with the basic physics question only, like uh, what is the definition of work done? And then uh, followed by, uh, say, for example, if a person is carrying a weight and then he's moving from one point to another point, point. is there any work done in that? So this was my first question. Okay. So I just explained it clearly like uh, there is absolutely no work involved in that one. So work done is zero in that case. So it gave me some sort of a positive experience, positive uh, confidence in the, in the very first question. And then the interview proceeded from there to other uh, panel members. So from your work profile, did they ask any question? Yes, sir, definitely. They asked me, since they asked, uh, no, they were aware that I was a JE in Indian Railways. They asked me what are the latest technologies and latest developments which are going on in railways as part of uh, signal and telecommunication department. So I was able to uh, give them some answers like uh, currently there are many works being done in electronic interlocking and train collision avoidance system and train protection warning system. And they asked me to explain briefly like uh, what all the what are these advanced techniques and how are they useful in trains. So I was posed the questions. Yeah. So, uh, any suggestions for the aspirant? That means if you want to brief your whole journey in few lines, two to three or four lines, so that it will, uh, you know, boost the preparation for the new uh, aspirants. So, what was your uh, suggestion for the current students who are preparing for engineering service examination? In briefly, can you, in few lines? So, what I would recommend to my juniors is, since I have this so much experience, work experience, as well as uh, this preparation, everything, I would suggest my fellow juniors to prepare it from the final year or right after their final year to better get the guidance from the coaching institute so that they will be able to save a lot of additional time and effort. Because uh, I have just given a thought like maybe if I have joined in the early stages itself, some coaching guidance, I would have been able to score a well, uh, good rank even before that. Uh, much before this time. Maybe in my first attempt itself, I will be able to clear. So I would suggest my fellow juniors to join, make up their mind in the final year, like what service they're going to join, either it's going to be some placement or their uh, own public service, to make up their mind and uh, follow their goals accordingly. And uh, for any revision strategies or preparation means uh, how they will... Yes, they're making a separate notebook as per your convenience, is definitely mandatory because everyone will have their own ways of memorizing formulas and remembering important concepts. So making a, some key notes separately for each and every subject will be definitely useful in the last minute revision. So that uh, when we see it for first time, it might look new, but second time, third time, obviously we will get the default, those uh, formulas will get into our mind and we will be able to produce them spontaneously in the exam without any help of and uh, the final thing that I would uh, like to ask you, question practice. You know, lots of students come and they ask, sir, from where should we do question practice? A lot of time we say that you have to follow holistically what MEDIS is providing the workbook and the books and the test series. So according to you, what is your suggestion in the pr uh, preparation strategy related to the question practice? Sir, this one I can tell specifically for people who are working. Say, for example, for working professionals, since the time management is very crucial in their preparation, I would suggest them to go with the MEDIC or test book, uh, booklet for reference everything because it will save them a lot of time. Because MEDIC booklets, they are like consolidated version of what is the key and important concepts that are necessary to be studied for the exam. They have been revised constantly with respect to each and every year's exam, if I am right. So I would suggest them to spare a lot of time and uh, save a lot of time and effort to go for MEDIC booklet and other uh, any specific booklets if they want, they can practice that. And in case if they have any uh, stumble upon any specific doubt, they can refer standard books or they can refer some social video, uh, social videos like this. So uh, since you have uh, achieved All India Rank Three, uh, so any uh, chance that you will be preparing for civil services or something like this is is there in your mind right now? 
right now i have not given it much thought sir but definitely i will uh, think about it. and uh, just i want like to the last question that i want to ask so since the exams is basically first they, you will prepare for prelims then for mains and for finally you will go for the uh, interview isn't it so uh, in the strategy in prelims and strategy in mains uh, how did you do that means you know in the prelims you have the gs section also and uh, you have to be uh, accuracy is also important speed is also important so how did you manage the prelims stage first sir uh, for the prelims stage uh, like i said i gave importance to gs as well as technical paper also so practicing the gate uh, mock test series would be definitely useful for clearing prelims uh, because uh, they all have similarly dependent subjects and similar dependent topics of course there is vast syllabus in esc but practicing the mock test will give you a definite uh, speed and accuracy for the case of mains i would uh, suggest the candidates to study both gate and uh, 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 ESC together because uh, the mains is nothing but like kind of all the problems will be an elaborated version of what we studied in GATE. We may have to explain them in GATE and uh, apart from that, some some more theoretical questions also. So I would suggest the candidates to prepare for GATE and ESC in parallel because definitely that will be helpful in clearing the prelims as well as mains. Okay, one one more question I, I just came into mind. Uh, there are few subjects that are common to both electrical as well as ECC. For example, network signal digital. So for that, did you uh, go for the other uh, electrical streams also for practicing the questions, common subjects? Uh, yes, sir. yes, sir. for some common subjects, I wanted to get some. Uh, for some subjects, I want to get some additional uh, uh, knowledge. So I was referring those test series also, like electrical. Okay. Okay. So that means uh, you have that after discussing with you. So what I made the point is that the first thing that you wanted to say that. revision is the key and test series means if you want to practice the question do give the lots of test and evaluate your performance if you are unable to understand any difficult question practice uh, note it down practice it a lot like that you will master the subject isn't it yes sir exactly okay so in crisp uh, okay so it was nice talking to you mr stalwart so i wish you all the best in your future and uh, hope you come with uh, more flying colors if you prepare for civil services also and again we will have a little more discussion on that so i would like to congratulate and congratulate you on behalf of whole made easy team to you and to your family for a wonderful performance in engineering service examination so nice talking to you stalwart see you soon